boom! And before we start today's video and I'll show you how to unprick, how to recover your JKBMS, we want to pick a winner of the 200 amp Heltec Smart BMS. Three times eight gauge wire. I sold it myself. Beautiful eight millimeter ring lugs, balanced cable harness, display and connection cables, and of course a Bluetooth module. Um, there should be also, ah, oh, here, here, here. And of course temperature sensors as well. And the question I was asking in one of my last videos, if I connect balance cable number one to my terminal block number one, and I connect cable number two to my terminal number two, where do I connect cable number three to? And of course the answer to this very difficult question is three. So, and we are using the YouTube random comment picker. I have already entered the URL to this video and we keep picking a comment until we get the first one with the right answer. Okay, get comment. Oh, <laughs> all right, we already have one, nice. Okay, so, Randall, Randall, Randy, 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 Randy Leonard, Randy Leonard 9674, please get in contact with me. You have won the Helltech BMS and all the accessories. Okay, let's get started with the video. Boom! Need to come a bit closer with the battery to the computer. For the last six, seven days, I'm testing the JK Inverter BMS here, which we have installed in the Jackie battery a while ago. And after upgrading the BMS to version 14.17, I had no issues with the BMS since. I have um, connected the CAN port of the BMS to the Serbo GX here of the Powerwall 2.0. So I can closely monitor what's going on with the JK BMS and the battery. And I've also temporarily connected the battery to our power in. So the Jackie battery gets now charged and discharged together with the battery shelf. And since the update to version 14.17, no issues anymore. I also had the BMS off for five days and all the settings were still there after turning it back on. And this morning I upgraded the BMS to version 14.19. And all the settings were still there afterwards. So even after a BMS upgrade now, all the settings are still maintained, which is great. But um, yeah, the um, we still have we still have one uh, BMS here, and this BMS did not update correctly. It stopped at four percent. Never finished the firmware update, and is totally pricked since. It still shows up in the Bluetooth app, but doesn't connect anymore. And there's also no communication with the computer software. And we have tried, we in terms of JK and me, we have tried multiple times to repair and save this BMS, but without any luck. One of my viewers, Stefan from Germany, got in contact with me and said, Andy, can you help me? I've got the same problem as you have with your BMS. My one stopped in the middle of a firmware upgrade and it's not responding anymore. What can I do? After shoveling all this snow this morning, my driveway looks clean and nice again. Tell you, there was a lot of work. Guys, welcome to the off -grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia, of course. There's no snow, it is nice and warm, but we are back in the garage with a repair video. Yeah, we have to repair the JK Inverter BMS. Now, first of all, of course, we need to connect the BMS to our battery and also turn it on. As you can hear, you can't hear anything. There's no beeping anymore from the BMS, nothing. But I still have the red light flashing here. I know I haven't connected any of the balance cables, but it's not necessary for what we are going to do. We just need the main negative and the positive of the battery, and then the BMS already starts up. And in the next step, we want to connect our communication cable to the RS485 one port. And then you also have to make sure that dip switch number one is set to on. All the other dip switches are off. So we now start the computer software and as we can see it is not connecting it is not communicating anymore with the BMS. We click on these three dots go to upload fireware. This prompts us to select the new firmware and I'm going with the 14.19 firmware and this is a 100 amp BMS. So I'm selecting this file if you have another BMS you need to select the correct file. Click on open 
You then get this message here because the software cannot determine what kind of BMS you actually have. There's no communication at the moment. So click on force updating and now you need to enter a code. So this is a bit of a problem now because the code you only get from JK directly. And to make it even worse, the code is only valid and live for 30 minutes. So you have to get in contact with JK now to get this code in a timely manner. And I advise Stefan to go to the JK website, jkbms.net, click on contact us and you find several possibilities to contact JK. You can either send them an email, which kind of will not help because the code expires so quickly. I would recommend going for the WhatsApp communication. So today I'm not going to use my usual communication channels with JK. I'm using the provided contact method on their website. So I'm using a QR code scanner and scan this code here on the screen. Okay, we click on this link. So I sent them a text now. Hello, good morning. Can I please have an unlock code for the BMS? Mine stopped updating during a firmware update and does not respond anymore. Thank you. Okay, we are sending this now. Hopefully someone in China sees it and responds to us quite quickly. Let's see. Okay, and exactly after 10 minutes, we've got a reply and the code, which we will enter here. 1401216. Ah, so they confirmed it is valid for one hour. And I've contacted them a quarter past 11 hour time here. So this was actually before they officially open and they have responded within 10 minutes. Okay, let's click on OK. And now there is nothing happening, right? There's nothing happening. This is how far I came before. So the trick now here is to press the power button again and hold it down. Don't release it. Press and hold. And now we are pushing the reset button once on the board. And this should now trigger the firmware update. As you can see on the screen, it is updating. I'm still pressing the button. If you release the button, the firmware update will fail again at this position. 70, 80, 90. And we got the confirmation beep. We can now release the button here and everything is done. BMS has turned off. Turn it back on. Get the confirmation beep. And we also get the confirmation that the upload firmware was successful. We click on OK here. Get out of the update. And now we can do a disconnect and to connect. And the BMS will actually connect now. It shows us two errors here that the cell count is not equal. Well, the BMS has now reset to factory default settings. And also the temperature sensors are abnormal because they are not connected. I haven't connected any of the balance cables at all, nothing. But we can see we have got access to all the settings now. So in here under about, we can also see the newest firmware 14.19 now flashed onto this BMS. I'm not sure what version it was on there before, but. So anyway, guys, this is how you force update your JK inverter BMS and flash it with the newest firmware. If you get stuck and it doesn't respond anymore, well, there is help. And you can do it yourself. You need to contact JK though to get this code. So after receiving the code, you've got one hour to go through this procedure. I link all the necessary steps again under the video in the description. So thank you again, Stefan, for helping me and working things out here. A great community success again. And also link Stefan's YouTube channel down below. But be warned, he doesn't do anything with batteries or solar. It's the actual opposite. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great support here. A special thank goes to all these donors who are keeping the channel alive and buying me a beer. And also thank you to everyone else who is commenting, liking and sharing my videos. We don't want to forget this is great support as well. And until the next video, guys, you stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.